To the west of the province of Algiers, near the borders of the Moroccan Empire, there has long been established a very famous family of marabouts. They descend from Muhammad himself, and their name is venerated throughout the regency. At the time the French took possession of the country, the head of this family was an old man called Mahidin. To the illustration of birth, Mahidin added the advantage of having been to Mecca and of having long and energetically opposed the exactions of the Turks. His sanctity was in great honor and his skill well known. When the surrounding tribes began to feel the unbearable discomfort caused to men by the absence of power, they came to Mahidin and proposed that he take over their affairs. The old man gathered them all together on a large plain. There he told them that at his age one should be concerned with heaven and not with earth, that he refused their offer, but that he begged them to defer their vote to one of his younger sons, whom he presented them. He enumerated at length the virtues of this one to govern his countrymen, his early piety, his pilgrimage to the holy places, his descent from the prophet. He made known several striking clues which heaven had used to designate him in the midst of his brothers, and he proved that all the ancient prophecies which announced a liberator to the Arabs evidently applied to him. The tribes proclaimed the son of Mahidin by common agreement Emir el muminin that is to say, leader of the believers. This young man, who was then only twenty-five years old and of poor appearance, was called Abd el Qadr. <laughs> Camicia nera pure tu, accetta nera, sarai.